1-0 pitch. Arias lines a ball, center field, Lopez back, and it's over his glove, into the gap, and that is a Fred Nat winner. Andre Arias, a gap shot double, and the Fred Nats win it 7-6. They mob him, into right field they go, out of the bullpen. Fred Nats pour out of the dugout. What a comeback. Fred Nats were down 5 nothing after one half inning and they slowly chip away. Three in the second, two in the fourth, and two in the seventh to win 7-6. How about it? Baseball as well for this. Orleans Firebirds. 1-1 one, one is hammered. Right field, have yourself a debut, Jared McKenzie. That thing's flying out to 95. Three run home run, and the Fred Nats are up six nothing in the third. He was gonna start his wine, then he shook off Diaz, and now here he comes, the 0-2. Burgos goes lunging and missing, and he falls down in the middle of the batter's box. Jackson Rutledge, absolutely filthy. Strikes out two in the sixth, nine for the game. He's got six shutout innings, and we're going to the seventh, just like that. Fred Nats up three to nothing on the Fred Nats Baseball Network. Camo brown tops, gray pants, camo brown hats. One, two pitch to Arruda, line drive towards the gap in left center field. That's dropping and splitting the outfielders to the wall. White scores, Young will easily score run number 100. Arruda's motoring for third, he's there. Fred Nats lead. What a way for JY to get number 100. And it's a triple for JT Arruda. Rizel from Texas A&M and the 2-1 is hammered deep right field paulini back looks up goodbye will frizzell where have you been kiss him baby seven five fred dance 1-0 offering is cranked right field into the corner back goes morton and it's one hop in the wall into score is young James Wood to second. He is unbelievable. It's a one-run game. Win this game, and Fredericksburg hasn't gotten anything going on offense. And Browski will line to right field, right at Arias, who will make the catch. They will try to score him from third. Throw to the plate is in plenty of time. Got him. Inning ending, double play. How about it? Quintero got a late jump off of third. That ball was a laser to Arias and a laser from Arias home to cut down Quintero and potentially save the game for the Fred Nats. Now Threadgill the one, two. Is bounce to first base, could be two. Bossier on to second. Can they turn it? You bet they can. That's a Fred Nat winner here in Lynchburg. Three, six, three, double play ends it. And the Fred Nats win the first two of the series here at Bank of the James Stadium, three to one the final. I'm Eric Bach and this is your Budweiser State of the Farm. We'll start in High A Wilmington where on Saturday night after falling behind four nothing against Jersey Shore, the Blue Rocks scored five unanswered to win it in walk-off fashion, capped off by this single from Omar Marigildo. On to Double A Harrisburg, Drew Millis, a name that Fred Nat fans know well, homered in two straight games, and Joe Ross made a rehab start, throwing 31 pitches and 23 strikes with four strikeouts in his outing. On to Triple A Rochester, top pitching prospect Cade Cavalli had his best outing of the season, allowing just one hit in five innings on Sunday, including setting down 12 in a row at one point. This has been your Budweiser State of the Farm. I'm Eric Bach, and this is your Budweiser State of the Farm. This week we're going to focus on the minor league prospects acquired from San Diego in the Juan Soto trade. And no better place to start than right here in Fredericksburg with James Wood, the number four overall prospect now in Washington's organization. Made a big splash in his Fred Nat debut, racking up four hits, including this home run and a Fred Nat win over the Down East Wood Ducks. He returns to his home region. He's a Rockville, Maryland native, and he is thought of, of having one of the best upsides 
in all of the 2021 draft class. Let's go up to Wilmington, where the Nats' new number one overall prospect, Robert Hassel III, was assigned. He was drafted out of high school number eight overall. He's a Tennessee native, and he drove in his first run in the Washington organization on Sunday for the Blue Rocks, and he also has a plus arm, throwing mid-90s as a pitcher in high school. Last but not least, Harleen Susana, an 18-year-old pitcher considered to be the top pitcher in the international draft class of 2021. His fastball's in the upper 90s, the slider's in the upper 80s. He's electric, and he could be in Fredericksburg either late this season or early 2023. This has been your Budweiser State of the Farm. A couple of zeros put up by the two starting pitchers in the first. We go to the second inning here at Bank of the James Stadium in Lynchburg and a scoreless tie between the Fred Nats and the Lynchburg Hillcats. Trey Lipscomb, Sammy Infante, Jared McKenzie against Trenton Denholm here in the second. And the first pitch to Trey Lipscomb is a fastball low for ball one. Lipscomb had a three-hit night last night, his first as a pro, including a double and an RBI. Nationals third round pick out of Tennessee, the 1-0, swinging a foul straight back. Got a fastball on the inner half that he just couldn't turn on there. Lipscomb hitting 364 with a homer and six RBIs in six Fred Nat games. OPS at an even 1,000, 1-1, chopped to third base and foul. Frias picked it up just outside the third base bag and did end up throwing to first. The throw skipped past San Quentin, the first baseman, but Jalen Goodman says foul. Home plate umpire springing out from his stance behind home plate. One ball and two strikes on Trey Lipscomb. First team All-American by the NCBWA at Tennessee this last year. The one-two line drive, base hit left field. Have yourself a series, Trey Lipscomb. His fourth hit. Barreled up an inside fastball and turned on it to left field. And for the second inning in a row, the leadoff man has singled to start the attack for the Fred Nats. Trey's got such a business-like demeanor about him. Not too high, not too low. Just coming to work every day. And so far, so good. Sammy Infante's first pitch is swung on and fouled straight back to the netting. Strike one. Sammy's in a bit of a slide right now. 0 for his last nine. Hasn't swung it very well since bumping over to second base after Lipscomb's arrival, but they did that after Viandel Pena got promoted so that both of these bats could be in the lineup. The 0 1 to Infante. Fastball miss up above the belt buckle, 1 and 1. Infante, naturally a middle infielder. This is the first year that he's ever played third base. Shortstop, played second base after he was drafted in 2020 out of Hialeah, Florida. So he's back into a position that's a little bit more natural to him. The 1-1 pitch is hit in the air to center field and fairly deep. Antunez backs up into the shadow, and he will put it away for the first out. Shadows become a factor here in Lynchburg because there's some tree cover to my left. I'm in the press box behind home plate, so my left towards left field. And the wall is pretty tall, so once the sun starts to set, the shadows can get a little tricky out there in the outfield, especially left and center field. Right field is more in the sun. Now Jared McKenzie, today's pregame show guest, digs into the left side. First pitch to him, fastball right down the middle for a called strike. Jared, six for 11 with four extra base hits, including a three-run home run in the first three games of his Fred Knack career. All at home. This is his first road start as a pro. You know, one pitch, fastball away, a ball and a strike. Kenzie, all Big 12 at Baylor. is the Nationals' fifth-round pick in the 2022 draft and is just as nice a guy as you'll meet. He's very insightful about a lot of things having to do with his career and his personal life. There's a whip over to first where Lipscomb will dive back in safely. Trey stole a base last night. He's now got two steals with the Fred Nats. But Jared McKenzie had another year left of eligibility at Baylor. And the 1-1, Lipscomb runs. McKenzie takes up the throw to second from Donovan is not in time. 
Lipscomb gets in there with a head first slide as the tag came down on his backside from Valdez. And Trey Lipscomb is in scoring position now with one out here in the top of the second in a scoreless ball game. Two and one on McKenzie. And he had just an all-time great sophomore year at Baylor. Hit almost 400 that year. The 2-1 is ripped foul. Yanked it down the right field line past Carmelo Jaime, the first base coach for the Fred Nats. McKenzie going into his junior year, which was this past spring of 2022, was Baylor's all-time leader in batting average. Now he hit 288 this last year at Baylor, and he said it wasn't even... He said it wasn't up to his standards the way that he played this last year, yet he still got drafted in the fifth round. Here he will swing and miss and strike out on a pitch in the dirt for the second out. So Denholm has given up a few base runners so far through the first two, but has worked around it. Got a double play in the first inning, and after the single and the stolen base, it's been fly out, strike out. But McKenzie said, I bet on myself that when the Nationals took me in the fifth round, that... I was going to prove to everybody that I belonged at this level, and even with the strikeout there, so far so good. Two outs for Geraldi Diaz. Lipscomb at second. Geraldi, the left-handed swinging catcher, will swing at the first pitch and blast it. Right center field and deep. And Tunia is back. Looks up, and it's off the top of the wall, and it will stay in the park. Lipscomb's in to score. Diaz rounds second. He's going to third, and he is out there. Looks like he was in. Jake Lowry can't believe it. Charlie Welling out there on the call, and Jake's having an animated argument with Welling about the call at third base. It's an RBI double for Geraldi Diaz, but he's thrown out at third, and Jake is still having words for Charlie Welling as he heads back to the first base dugout. They're still going. Welling did throw out Isaiah Green of Lynchburg last night, and now the conversation is over. Jake will walk on back to the first base dugout. His Fred Nats up one to nothing as we go to the bottom of the second inning in Lynchburg on the Fred Nats Baseball Network. <laughs> 